if Parliament is disposed to uh, sanction Alec uh, Neil's appointment as a, a minister, then the ministerial team's gain uh, will be Newsnight's loss. And uh, I'm sure the BBC is taking steps to, to, to plug the gap. One of the things that has marked the debate in housing over uh, the last 18 months uh, to two years has unfortunately been a mixture of stubbornness and stupidity. Now, Alec Neil is not known for stupidity, and I hope he will bring his calming influence to change the stubborn attitude which has developed uh, amongst uh, his colleagues uh, in the administration. The document, which is entitled Firm Foundations, would actually have been better uh, titled Building on Quicksand, because it's managed to not only alienate but alarm uh, the housing movement right across Scotland, including, incidentally, people who are actually politically well disposed to the SNP. Uh, they do not have a good word to say about the current housing policy. Now, I, I could spend my time making a number of political points, but I actually think that the problem facing the housing sector in Scotland is too important. What we need today is some sort of movement, some sort of solution. And I would rather that we could persuade the administration to admit that it has been wrong and that it will change. Now, I do welcome uh, the slight shift announced already uh, this week, but the problem with the announcement is that it's too little uh, and too late. The damage has been and is being done, and the increased announcement um, is too late for many schemes. Housing associations will have to revise projects to see if they, they can stack up. The work is time consuming and the unhelpful delays will further undermine the construction industry at a time when fast and decisive action could actually make a real difference, not just in terms of providing houses, but providing jobs right across Scotland. But even under the revised proposals, housing associations will still have funding problems. There will be a rise in private finance contributions. Rents could go up by as much as 20% on all new build developments. And worryingly, standards could reduce. The maintenance of these developments could be affected simply because the money will have to be used to service increased loan repayment charges. And also, lenders are not offering favourable rates. That's if uh, they are offering uh, money to lend at all. Many lenders are worried about the future viability of some housing associations because of what is going on. And why should housing associations use their own reserves to plug financial gaps? This administration has ignored warnings from the housing movement. Reserves are built up over a period of time and come from the rents of existing tenants, uh, mostly designed for future maintenance of properties. Why should these reserves be used to subsidise new housing and future tenants? Bob Dorney. Thank you, Henry, for, for giving way. On, on reserves, part of the HAG assumptions, would uh, Hugh Henry agree that the reserve estimates in previous HAG assumptions were wrong? And when the new numbers were put in, that is what led to revised HAG assumptions last year. I think uh, if Mr Doris wants to reflect and, and talk to housing associations uh, about what was pertaining previously to what is now, then housing associations would make the appeal, let's go back to uh, the levels which were previously available. This administration does need to revert to the, housing, uh, to the HAG assumptions uh, used in the previous financial year to kick-start uh, affordable house building programme in Scotland. And they do need to utilise the expertise of housing associations, which I think we would all agree have a proven track record across Scotland. And finally, can I appeal to ministers to abandon the idea of a lead developer? This is a model which has failed in England. There is no evidence in the document that any cost savings will be made, nor that the model has worked elsewhere. Lead developers are just another level of bureaucracy that could cost more money to set up than generate uh, savings. And the problem with the rhetoric over the last 18 months or so is that, as Ross Finney has suggested, 
it has created an artificial uh, division uh, between council housing and the houses provided and built by housing associations. And I do worry that this rhetoric has sought to downplay, if not undermine, the role of housing associations. Housing associations in Scotland have proved themselves. It's time to undo the damage, ditch the dogma and just admit you did get it wrong.